work. So the, the Y arpeggios, they happen because I was looking for another way of uh, making harmonies instead of the normal chords that you're playing, like the A to C and then A minor, B minor, blah, blah. And I came up with these patterns that just are very simple with the hands. So you're not thinking in normal chords, but just for your, your fingers. And I thought it would be a fun thing also to learn how to play, like for even children, to uh, play in patterns instead of having to learn all these chords. So you are playing also a lot with your eyes, you're just making a Y shape. So you're in the middle as your tone, and then you go to one side, you go to the same side again. I recorded it and made it for fun and sent it to my friends. And then my friend, Margrethe Otgord, who's a designer, and she makes patterns and uh, is very interested in color. She's like a color designer, basically. And she has synesthesia, so she, when she hears music, she sees colors. She immediately came back with the idea of making um, uh, color patterns where you connect the, the music with the colors. And there are these old theories about how, for instance, the note C is yellow and, uh, and so on. Yeah, so she made these beautiful wood prints with, uh, with the colors and connected them with the music. And it gave the music another dimension. 